Hey YouTube, I said on my message board I was going to post a review of the Raw on New Year's Eve. So here it is. First thing of the night, first match of the night, uh, Mr. Kennedy versus Shawn Michaels. It was pretty much just like their Armageddon match. It was s slow pace, not much happening. There was a cool spot on that suicide dive, but that was pretty much it. And the end, it was a little bit more exciting. But I was wondering if I was the only one who noticed how recycled that pin exchange was. In fact, I even remember an exact incident. They did that at the Shawn Michaels versus Chris Jericho match a few years ago at WrestleMania. I'm not trying to be overcritical, but I really want to like this feud. It's just the matches are making it hard to. I mean, they're both really good wrestlers, but the matches kind of suck. I I can't I can't really decide an exact spot. I'm gonna say in between two and three quarter stars and three stars just because. Well. It was pretty good the last, like, two, three minutes, I guess. So then there was Triple H backstage, and they added the stipulation that if Triple H couldn't beat Ric Flair, he couldn't be in the Royal Rumble, and this made me really excited for the match. And basically, I'm going to skip the rest of that stuff because there was just, like, a crappy horn swoggle thing in a Tribute to the Troops video package. Then there was just a new MAGA versus Jim Duggan squash match. That speaks for itself. Doesn't even require reviewing. Not even one star. Complete garbage. The JBL return ceremony was just a setup for Chris Jericho to come out and fight him. So that's not worth really reviewing either. Then the women's title, the women's title match. I was surprised. I didn't know this was going to come on. And I thought it might have been really good. And it was okay for what it was. It started off kind of slow, just Molina pretty much staying out of the way and some lame stuff for the, like the first minute. But I, I really liked this match. And I'm going to give it two and a half stars because, well, mainly just because there was some really awesome stuff. Like the tag team offense between Mickey James, with Mickey James and Molina against Beth Phoenix was amazing and then there was that diving seated sent on by Molina. I didn't know she could do that. I thought that was just like a Rey Mysterio move. But anyways, this match was way too short. It was decent for what it was, but I expected a lot more when I heard this announced. Two and a half stars and I think that's about right. Okay. Then we had Regal versus Hornswoggle, yet another pretty much crappy thing. Not really even worth reviewing, just garbage. Even for a Hornswoggle match, this was shitty, dude. Triple H and Ric Flair back. Oh, sorry, I was skipping something. Jeff Hardy versus Santino Morella. Now, this wasn't really a match, it was just like a lockup, and then Randy Orton came on and beat the f fucking crap out of Matt Hardy. And honestly, I wish they could have done that after the match, but that segment really gave me a legitimate heel heat with Randy Orton. It pissed me off, and honestly, it's the first segment that's actually made me feel any emotion in quite a long time. So, that was really good, and just gives him the feel that he's very brutal and willing to do anything to get inside Jeff's head, so that was a good segment, but badly placed. Then there was Triple H and Flair backstage. He had another pretty good backstage segment. This, this, this is the this is segment of the this is a backstage segment of the year in my opinion, at least for WWE. Amazing, just classic for a segment in my opinion. This really made me even more excited for the match. And then we got to the main event after a commercial. It was Triple H versus Ric Flair. And uh, either Ric Flair would have to retire or Triple H couldn't be at the Royal Rumble if he lost. So it, it was kind of a slow-paced match, but it, it was really, really good. I liked this match. And if you think I'm overrating it, I'm sorry. But just for the freaking amazing build-up and just the storyline surrounding it, that's that's something WWE's kind of been lacking. I mean, the the match itself 
it would have been like a maybe three stars at most match, but the build up that was just amazing in my opinion. They did very good on that. It was kind of slow paced and the atmosphere was great. Just the crowd actually booing Triple H, because you know face versus face isn't that common. So when you get it, it's it's bound to be a good match, and it, and it was. It was back and forth. It was con competitive all the way to the end. And I was really, really actually pissed that JBL, or uh, I mean William Regal, interfered in the match. But now looking back on it, I kind of think this is the only way they could have ended this without fucking something up in the long term. I mean, the ending, of course, pissed me off. I guess uh, I'm three and three quarter stars. For the most part, this night sucked. The backstage things were okay, but. That was really the only good match, and the women's title match was, eh, it was okay. So, it was a New Year's night, and that show could have been better, but hey, it's raw for you. Sling Blade 98 out, everyone. Have a happy 2008.